also back to his old bullshit, bro. Uh, Alright, so... They fought with each other in Dynasty Warrior Gun number three. Funny shit. going on Char? <laughs> Good timing. I just popped out the Gelgu. What's going on Jar? Uh, 
How you guys doing? さっさと敵を押し返さんかよし幸い状況はこちらに有利だ Hey, appreciate that like and share, John. Hope you guys are doing well. If I lose this battle, I might pop out the Zaku instead. Oh, you did? Hey, that's what's up, man. I'm gonna see if they pop out a, a free copy online. It's like a possibly on um, pirated, most likely. Or probably just pre order on Steam. Oh, thank God. Okay. We just deal with Kira now because he is so annoying. Stop shooting. What's going on, Robert? Damn! Finally! Okay, so now the most annoying is part I have to deal with. Um. Oh my God, bro! Duo was back. Duo is back. You know the god of death comes back once again, bro. <laughs> he literally just ignored me, bro. Like, like he thought I wasn't standing here. Come on, man. What's going on, Robert? Nothing much, man, and you? See that? If you got new types in the cockpit, bro, it's gonna be slow motion effect for their burst mode. That's what I like. Shiksha! You can literally hear Duo screaming in the background. I think in three, from what I remember in three, I think in three, um, Duo literally screams no when he loses. I think it's the same thing in Reborn. But the screaming in the English dub for Duo actually has a lot more, uh, a lot more heart put into it. There you go.
Okay, we're good over here. Let me just clear up this territory. Yeah, we can skip that one enemy. They won't really do much harm. Yeah, probably shouldn't have gotten that. Now, this is one problem that Gelgu might not be good at. And that's facing off against a mobile armor. I I'm not sure. But if I was using the Zaku, I would literally slam it right away. Oh. Oh no, not the full blast again. Hold up. So our best bet is to literally push all the exploding enemies towards the mobile armors. It delivers a lot more damage too. But that's what we're going to do. Deliver all the enemies straight to the mobile armor. If the mobile suit itself doesn't do much against mobile armors, use the enemies and literally use them as damage. Alright, so Gion's um, aerial ult should do something. But Gion's aerial ult should at least do some sort of damage. I stand corrected. Never mind. Oh shit, nope. It might just be karma. <laughs> Except that Dazzle's giving him the karma. <laughs> I like that combo. Or he just literally grabs the, one of the mobile suit units and just throws them.
three bars by default. Yeah, it actually did. I would probably say story-wise. Black and purple sisters. So we, so I think in this one, yeah, we fought against Puru and Puru too. This one we face off against Marita, but I'm actually gonna do because this is actually one of my favorite level stages around Neo Hong Kong. So let me uh, all right, let's. We're trying to bring out. Uh, mobile suits we haven't popped in once before you know since we rely on the main mobile suits or the main important ones so i'm actually trying to see which mobile suits I haven't brought out in like a while so i'm actually gonna bring maybe i should pop them in the plane outfit no that no regular all right then <laughs> Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I remember it very well. <laughs> but I think I'm trying to not remember it. Because there's <laughs> some reasons why I'm not trying to. <laughs> So the one good thing about um, Angelo's Gear Zulu is this right here. Actually, my bad. That's the ground one. But the ground one is actually good. But that's not what I meant, though. The thing that's good about um, Angelo's aerial ult, the Gear Zulu's aerial ult, and this is something that the Strike Gundam. This is, a, this is something that the Strike Gundam cannot do. Because you can't really control where it moves fully. I mean, you could, but not all the way, though. But this is one of them. You can control where this goes at. The Strike has a second leveled ult. But it's like a ground ult, though. It's literally like a ground ult for the Strike's uh, second ult. That's the difference between this one and that one. Is that Angelo's is an aerial ult where you can actually control it. Strike Gundam's second ult is like a ground ult though. And you can't really control it fully though. Like you can't move it back and forth though. Strike Gundam literally just goes up ahead with that move. That's how the Strike Gundam should have had it too, honestly. Because you can't even control the, tr the Strike Gundam second level ult. 
Let me see. Let me hear the dialogue. Let me see what the dialogue says. I thought we'd have some different dialogue since, you know, it's Char and Angelo, but eh. Yamanaika, fool! You're busy worrying about four while your girl fall over here is busy getting her ass beat. <laughs> I don't know what would have happened if the Methus was actually playable and um if the Methus was actually playable in Reborn. Even in the earlier titles. Come on, come on. Alright, enough for you, Fall. I don't got time to waste on you. Come on. Yeah, it is actually pretty good to use. I won't lie, though. I haven't fully mastered using it, though, yet. Because I think by the time I was using that unit, I was still in the middle of trying to master uh, Shinanju. Damn, the aerial actually has some good damage against mobile armors. Hold on. Good. Good. There we go. I'm going to need Shar Sazabi support for this one. I'm 
ドジあるから可愛いってさ。Damn, bro. Maybe I will start bringing much better mobile suits. You know, my usual mobile suits. Especially since this is a scenario full of mobile armors in it. You notice why I never bring the Psycho Gundam in any of the missions? Because it's not the best for max difficulty missions. Yeah, facts. Definitely better as a support than a playable unit. I would think I would say that the only mobile armors that really play good in Reborn is literally Destroy and Quinn Mata. Quinn Monza and um and Destroy. Those are the only Oh yeah, Big Zam too, Big Zam. <laughs> I gotta forget Big Zam. Big Zam as well. <laughs> Big Zam, Destroy Gundam, and Quinn Massa. Those are the only those are the only good mobile armors that play good in this game. Psycho Gundam and Psycho Gundam Mark II are just pretty eh. Don't we have the stamen? Yeah, we have the stamen too with this uh with this little big mobile armor weapon. Cause you can bring that out too, so, so yeah, we could we could definitely include stamen because of that too. GPO3 stamen. Although you can't use you can't use it with the mobile armor all the way though. You can only just use it halfway, so he's using that face, oh my god. Hate when Angelo does that expression, dear lord. Somebody wants some frontal today, that's what they want. Okay, so this is gonna be very long. Very long. Okay, very, very long. Wasn't the best idea to bring Girazulu here. Uh, let's hope. Let's just see what we can do. This is going to be very long, so if it does end up getting long, I may have to probably consider changing my mobile suit. Girazulu isn't really the best option. Let's not forget that we're literally in a scenario. Where we will encounter lots of mobile armors. So if I have to, it's most likely I'll probably pop out the Strike Freedom. Because I have not brought out the Strike Freedom in a while.
Alright, so we switch to dead side. <laughs> Let's speed run this bitch as fast as possible. Let's take care of that over here. Did he just... No, let me not. Man, the dead side special isn't really good up close. That's why you gotta be at least a little bit of a couple seconds away. Still one of the Gundam goats, bro. Fucking duo Maxwell, bro. Say less.
Wait for it. And now there you go. ここ Come on, keep him coming. Damn, there you go. Good shit. That was annoying. Appreciate that, GG's. But I love a challenge. That's the thing, I don't want to rely on my most used mobile suit just to beat these most of the time. Hard difficulty ain't max difficulty ain't even no joke. Since it's going to consist of mobile armors, I'm actually going to choose my most used mobile suits. Since this does consist of mobile armors.
<laughs> Here we go. I forgot we gotta deal with the Dark Gundam too. <laughs> He's not ridiculous. He's the undefeated of the East and the previous Kingdom Heart King of Hearts. <laughs> Almost said Kingdom Hearts. Previous King of Hearts, man. <laughs> This is how they do shit in the future century. You know what would be cool though? If I bring Domon against... I was thinking about it. <laughs> I should have brought Domon against Kyoji, but... Oh no. your ass over her mom. We had a time limit? When did we have a time limit? I wasn't looking. Go get this base before uh, before time runs out. Hold up. You there you go. That scene kind of, kind of hurt me. <laughs> well, let's get some dialogue. Let's get some G Gundam dialogue. Oh, 
スーパーモードスーパーモードダークアーミーはダンダーディ。<laughs> What's going on, Chris? Kind of upset.、Uh, something bad happened, bro. Starting till next Friday. Sorry to hear that, man.
That would be so crazy. Imagine saving that literally, literally before the finals. <laughs> Bigger upgrade than the burning. Oh crap, no, hold up, let me get over there right now. Ikimus! This is accurate, actually. Well, Sting being in Destroy is actually accurate. He was the last of Phantom Pain to actually pilot the Destroy. I think he was killed by Shin, if I remember correctly. After Shin upgraded to the Destiny, because after Stella died and stuff, and Shin upgraded to the Destiny, they put Sting... They put Sting in the Destroy, and I think Shin was the one who killed him. Sting was the last of the Sting was literally the last of Phantom Pain to be alive. And he pretty much suffered the same fate as Stella. Getting killed in a mobile armor. Pop out the wave rider and you get it. Oh yeah, it was. That is true. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Boom, baby.
離脱するそれ一瞬の光だとしても可能性の火はつなげなければ。Rocco after Emma, now that's a treat. <laughs> now that is a treat. <laughs> Am I getting PTSD from that one side mission, bro? <laughs> Except that Minerva is not here. And Reedy is not here either. No simp here this time. Okay, good. Close one. Keep spamming that shit. Get him. Get him.
thought about re-downloading Pokemon Tournament. Possibly. Maybe starting the game over, if anything. Two more. Quest is ignorant bitching. Ignorant bitching. Damn, they really don't be popping in Kira and the Freedom anymore, do they? <laughs> Oh, you put up a new type of a screen on you and you, 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 and you,
どういうことかやはり私が仕留めなければならんのかいいだろう前に出るの任せてよね少年いやすいな少年ジョニーライデンフィールドを制圧した I really just love the dialogues between Haman and Char. Like, I just never get tired of that. Like, the fact that they have such a long history with each other, bro, was like my favorite part about Zeta Gundam. Well, technically, Char's the leader of affairs, but. Never realized that an annoying ass max difficulty Gelgu could be this annoying, but. But let me not. Thought I was done? Not even close. Good. 
This is why I brought out the Q-Blade. <laughs> the exact reason I brought the fucking Q-Blade. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Say, shut up. I hate you, Chan. I don't like.
<laughs> no, yeah, we did. Cosmic Era 71 move. <laughs> The name's Judo, in case you didn't know. I forgot, Bushido's favorite Gundam anime is actually Double Zeta. And now I start to see why. Double Zeta is actually a beautifully written series. I get that some people can't really take it seriously at the first half, bro, but I think the first half is like that because they're trying to build up some crazy suspension in the second half. I felt that they only did it like that in order to take a break from the tears of time. If you know what I mean. One where Haman shit her pants after she shot Lena. <laughs> oh no. Let me take care of these two right over here. No! Oh crap! Close one! Dude, I gotta grab me something, otherwise I'm fucked. Sanctuary. <laughs> All right, I'll go back over there and take care of uh, Diarca later on. But Shin over here, bro. Mm -mm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, uh, uh. Catch him! <laughs> that was a good catch. Managed to catch his ass with the high mega cannon. <laughs> Alright, now for Diarca, bro. The thing about. Buster gun to my hate is that it delivers crazy amounts of damage, bro. Especially when you consider the fact that it's a long range mobile suit. And in burst mode, it's crazy as fuck. Oh my god, bro. You made me waste a special for nothing. Piece of shit. Alright, that's fine. Don't worry.
little bitch is still shielding. That's fine, don't worry. Chill down, you say? Why is it that it misses all the time, bro? Literally, I have them stunned. It's real bad. You play as any of the Zaku Warriors, you play as, like if you play as any of the Zaku Warriors in Reborn, they all play the same shit. The alts don't even try to look different. Practically all clones of each other. Even if it's a Zaku Warrior custom, the alts will still be close to the same, aside from Luna's Gunner Zaku. But. King Zabura. <laughs> King Zabura. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> The distortion have already been finished off already. What was going on there? Oh, excuse me, out of my way. I gotta get the camera. <laughs> Thank you. Oh yeah, we definitely one shot it all right. Speaking of cross rays, um, I should have time to get on. 
If I can hop on it right now, then... Let's get the second level of Awakening of the Trailblazer out the way. Then I can get the third one out of the way, uh, possibly somewhere next week, and get Iron Blooded Orphan started up. Firebacks is next. Shards counterattack all over again. 